He kicked me in the leg and then he tried to choke my brother. And the, and the only way Maddie could get free was to bite him. And then the principal got mad at Maddie and got made him got him in trouble, the principal. I had nightmares about those bullies every night I went to sleep and it made me made me upset and I didn't want to eat, I didn't want to do anything because the bullies were in my head for a long time. Why am I not part of your group? And I've definitely was I like was friends with you before, but now all of a sudden I'm being left out. She was born without a hip and we did not know that at um, the time. So from the time she was 18 months till about kindergarten, she spent her life in a cast from her shoulders to her feet. And it's like hard to find like a partner because everyone picks their friends before you. So then you're stuck with whatever. Um, you know, she would sit in a stroller and watch people play. And she really started to withdraw. And as much as we could take her to places, the phone wasn't ringing for her. I came to the United States in 2000. Um, I was a refugee from Sudan. So um, when I came, you know, I kind of looked different in a way. I was, I looked like a boy, I guess. <laughs> My hair was cut, so, and I was skinny. I dressed like a boy at the time, kind of, because I didn't know, you know, what style was. Everyone would call me names and say, like, I would look like a boy. Um, and sometimes they would say, because I'm from Africa, so, like, they'll say African booty scratcher and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't wear the same clothes that other people wore because my parents chose not to spend fortunes at the brand name stores, but just be sensible. And I remember a girl passing me in the hallway and pulling my skirts down, my skirt down, but on multiple occasions pointing out the underwear that I was wearing, which was holly hobby, and being so humiliated. I've certainly had my fair share of chaos and bullying, but I've also had amazing people who looked out for me, and many of those were teachers. And they became my role models, and they sometimes were my saviors, or they were the people who listened to me. They all were people who made me comfortable being me, and I wanted to pass that on. The general definition for bullying is there's an imbalance of power that one person has a power relationship over someone else, it continues over time. They might be upset about something or angry about something and they want to feel like they have power, like they want to feel like they have power and then that's what makes them want to bully because they want power, they want, they want, to, take it, they want to take their blame out on somebody else. Bullying is wrong and, and the bullies need help because, because they might, the bullies might be get being bullied by somebody else. KidsBridge is an organization which focuses on helping adults and children, schools and families with bullying and empathy and anti-suicide and just general celebration of diversity. The programs here are tested worked out again and again with real curriculum. It really helps just to understand that you're not like alone with the like being left out or being bullied. Like there's other people who are going through the same thing that you are going through. And this in Kidsbridge kind of helps to bring that all together so you can meet people who are going through the same thing. When you break kids into a classroom and you break that classroom into small groups and when you come to the Tolerance Center, every child is speaking, every child is heard, including the shy kids, and there's an emotional transformation where they feel like, I'm mad or I'm important and that, you know, I, I don't, I shouldn't be bullied by someone, that they can stand up for themselves. And the other very important thing is we're teaching bullies empathy. If they don't have empathy, they're not going to stop bullying. The options for students online such as the upstander creativity competition or the stand up for diversity or the holocaust awards 
They offer opportunities for recognizing children or for getting children to create. So children themselves feel like they're part of making the world a better place. Everything changed for her because she was taught, not just taught, she was shown how to respect everyone. I feel like most of the people that are getting bullied, they don't speak about it. They just, you know, stay to their self because that's what I did um, prior to me entering into Kids Bridge. So um, just to have that person to talk to can help a lot. The reason Kids Bridge is vital now and vital today more than ever before is that we have, the, we have issues of race, diversity, and differences, and we dwell on those differences. We need to be more respectful, we need to be kinder, and we start these conversations way too late. We start these conversations as adults. We need to start these conversations as children. Two years ago, we um, were at the walk, and we, my family and I did the um, shirt table. So we got here early and we folded all the shirts and, um, and we were certain that Lily would just like sit in the background because that's, you know, how she is. And my husband and I started and she says, I got this. And what size, this is, this is. And I cried because it was the first time ever that I thought Lily's gonna be okay.